Hello guys, welcome to the YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the other two benchmark of the IQ Neo 6 versus the Poco F4. And after that, we are gonna do the CPU level test also. So let's start from the other two benchmark on both at the exact same time. So in three, two, one, and go. So guys, you can see the scores over here on both. So the CPU, you can see CPU is higher on the IQ Neo 6, which is on the left. And you can see the CPU is higher over there. And uh, you can see the differences. And on GPU, you can see it is way lower than that of the uh, Poco F4. And uh, it shows the reason like the refinery uh, OpenGL ES 3.1 plus AEP is not supported over here. And this is uh, being supported over here. So that's why the main difference in the scores. And next we have the surprisingly higher scores on the LPDDR4X and lower scores on the LPDDR5. Uh, you can see the difference. And next in UX, it's also higher on the IQ Neo 6. And uh, let's check one more thing. So that would be the storage test. So let's start the storage test also. Okay, so let's wait for the Poco F4 to complete. Whoa! So it's surprising results from both. Okay, so you can see the read uh, uh, sequence read speed is 1691 and over here on the Poco F4 it's just 1230 and over here the write speed is 781 versus just on the Poco F4 637 and uh, the read and write speeds uh, that's been also higher over here on the random access that means from the uh, random access read and write speed is also higher on the uh, IQ Neo 6 which is on the left you can see so that's really surprising okay so now let's uh, check others so okay so it's time to do the CPU throttle test on the IQ Neo 6 versus the Poco F4 so I'm doing the CPU throttle test right now so let's start the test in 3, 2, 1 and go So guys, the CPU throttle test is over and you can see CPU throttle to 81% of its maximum performance on the IQ Neo 6 and on the Poco F4 you can see the CPU throttle is 79% so the IQ Neo 6 performed better by 2% than the Poco F4. So both are the same CPU so almost uh, same on both of these devices not a big margin and now we are gonna check the Geekbench 5 also. So you can see the scores on both. So IQ Neo 6 score 945 and over here 940 on the Poco F4 for the single core. And for the multi core 3113 and over here 3051. Not much difference between both in terms of the Geekbench 5 also. Okay, so I would say much more consistent. I feel the IQ Neo 6 is much more consistent than that of the Poco F4. Now let's look at the other specs like the fingerprint scanners and all. So the Poco F4 comes with side model fingerprint scanner. You can see in three, two, one, and go. Okay, it's fast. So you can see once again in three, two, one, and go. Once again in three, two, one, and go. And on the IQ Neo 6, we have the under display fingerprint scanners. So you can see I prefer this one more than the uh side model fingerprint scanners and both are the face recognition also so let me do the face recognition so so in three two one and so let me arrange to my face in three two one and go see both are neck and neck once again in three two one and go see both are at exact same time in three two one and go once again in three two one and go 
So I would say slightly quicker on the IQ Neo 6. So in display fingerprint scanner is definitely a win for the IQ Neo 6.